Good afternoon, Assumption College. You are watching B2 News, interesting news from interesting people. We're coming to you live from Studio 2. I'm Tanya Manalang. And I'm Tammy Bote. And today is October 13, 2009. And now, we will bring you today's top news. The Marie Eugenie Theatre of the Assumption announces their upcoming events. Here's the latest buzz from Meta, where the ACT, or the Assumption Community Theater, is hard at work rehearsing for the upcoming Broadway 3, scheduled to show this December. I was born from the earth, but I meant to fly. If I learned to love, I could take the sky. So I pray when I need. Broken hallelujah in my soul. Here's a special interview with the ACT president, Krenna House, to tell us something about the upcoming production of Broadway 3. Well, this December, Meta has a production called Broadway 3. It's a sequel to Broadway 1 and Broadway 2 from the past two years. And this year, they're doing two musicals instead of three. They're doing Oliver and um, My Fair Lady. So um, they're they're all continuing the Edu series, uh, wherein they they map out the story of the plays, um, the story of the musicals, um, with some kind of sequence to make it um, another story besides from the the musicals itself. So we'll be seeing Edu again and a lot more people again from um, preschool up to alumni will be there. Well, this year Broadway 3 will be, um, it's a different plot line, it's a different script. The beginning is very interesting. There will be a lot more um, surprises involved and um, you'll see professors, staff members acting, really acting. They have um, these roles which are very funny. Um, it starts off as an audition. So you see different characters auditioning, you know, the good ones and the bad ones. It's going to be really funny. It's a funny start. And you see them progress throughout the, the play into um, different characters. They're given roles in uh, either Oliver or My Fair Lady. So it's going to be really fun to see the people we see around us. Um, who are not usually seen acting, but now we will see them act. Hi, I'm Trana House. I'm the president of Assumption Community Theater, and I'm going to be playing a role in Broadway 3, so please watch for it. So, there you have it. This has been Nelly for the B2 Entertainment News Report. What are you doing? You're soaking wet. Don't drink muddy here. It's God's good rain, my girl. It's for it down blind, your ladyship. There's very little out there that could be called sun. You don't want carpet. <laughs> you want an area. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! When I make tea, I make tea. And when I make water, I make water. College held its annual open house last September 26, the same day Super Typhoon Onloy hit Metro Manila. That's the first time we're acting here in uh, the freshman orientation. Uh, how did you convince the freshmen and the old here? Thank you. 
this morning they announced that they were signal number one. So we decided to push through with open house. The sound system came in at 6 o'clock. All the suppliers came in at 6. Then, we came signal number two at 10 o'clock. So this is the first time I've been here for more than a decade in Assumption. This is the first time I've ever seen Assumption under underwater. <laughs> I said it's like Boracay, clear blue water, clear waters. <laughs> so everybody is wet, everybody is just happy. I think everybody's happy despite yeah. the fact that we didn't push through with a concert. In fact, one of the, my greatest worries is the is the drummer of Hale. Yung kotse niya pinasok ng water. water in South Luzon Expressway. En route to Assumption. That's the latest happening here in Assumption College. Assumption's third-year advertising students qualify in the Philippine Association of National Advertisers Marketing Competition or the PANA Competition. Here with us are Camille Cruz, Carissa Gomez, and Teresa Yengo. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, the Philippine Association of National Advertisers that holds an annual competition for advertising and marketing students across the Philippines. Among the schools and companies are the top universities, which include USC, Ateneo, and um, This year, um, the topic for the IMC competition is about nationalism. Um, we were tasked to do an IMC campaign um, on nationalism um, after the um, 2010 May elections. Um, how are we supposed to rekindle and revitalize and hype up the spirit of nationalism among the Filipinos, especially among the It took us approximately two months to prepare everything from, from generating the big idea to the production. And um, with the guidance of Sir Neil Gang, um, we were able to come up with, with an IMC campaign with a span of time. And um, it was very hard, but at the same time, it was very enjoyable. We were, we, we, we stayed for until like one in the morning, working on it, trying to finish it, especially the last six days, because um, we were given, um, yeah, six days, and then um, um, we were provided well with equipment by the com com dev, and um, yeah, from there, um, we tried to finish everything. It will be on November 7, 2009, uh, at Landmark Auditorium in Hermita, Manila. Um, so we are inviting all assumptionists um, if you would like to come and see the competition and support um, your fellow assumptionists as we represent our school in the 10th PANA competition. Uh, we will be able to have uh, to set aside funds to help them. Uh, and so there is a budget item for them which we make available uh, to them uh, so that they can have their Printing, etc. They can use the computers. They can use the office. Uh, they can use the media center, um, and so they all, all they have to do is pass. Uh, Mr. Tiang, it goes without saying, is the biggest resource in the communication department. Uh, Made available to the final finalists because uh, he is there with them. Coming up, the man behind the Assumption Dance Company's success. Assumptionists give their insights on voters' registration. And this year's 10 Most Outstanding Students of Assumption. So stay with us guys, B2 News will be right back.
all the dancing, stunts, and awards, there is Kevin Intal, the coach of the Assumption Dance Company. Choreographer for and a dancer for uh, all walks of life. Uh, kids, college students, and then I also teach employees. Mga yep, so. I graduated from La Salle with a degree in Master of Science in Electronic Communications Engineering. I chose to be a choreographer slash dancer. Then, as an engineer, I say um, I don't want to go to office. I have to go to And most especially, most importantly, then um, uh, I think I can glorify God's name through dancing, not in my engineering field. As a choreographer, kasi, there are times na um, naubusan ka din ng, ng ideas, ng choreography, ganyan. Yun ang mahirap. Pero at some point, talaga, lahat ng choreographers umabot sa ganun. Ipapainspire ako ulit kay Lord, ipapainspire ako ulit sa internet, nagsusearch ako ng mga magdang ng music, or I take classes din. Uh, dance class. In lecture class at that. <laughs> kailangan hindi natin kalimutan na uh, yung talent sa atin kahit kay Lord at siya yung nagbigay sa atin nun. So, kailangan natin siya glorify through our talents. Uh, find your inspiration in God. I'm a choreographer and... As the May 2010 election is drawing closer, assumptionists speak their mind on the importance of registering. Tammy and Tanya, we're here in Assumption College para magtanong-tanong para sa mga students natin kung nakapag-register na sila. Tanong natin, tara! Nakapag-ano na ba kayo? Register na kayo for 2010 election? Yes. Ikaw ate? Ako hindi pa. No. Hindi pa eh. Hindi pa eh, kasi aside from busy sa school, parang nakakatamad mag-register. So yun, tsaka na same break na kung, kung sisipagin. Hindi pa. Hindi pa. Bakit kaya ate? Uh, maraming ginagawa sa school eh. Busy with um, study. Wala akong oras eh. Kung pasok ako, tapos pag Saturday, o sirado naman doon. Gusto ko mag-register, pero wala akong time. Ako, wala akong time kasi ako mag-register. Ate, alam mo ba na extended hanggang end of November ang registration? Oh, edi okay. Edi yun. Sige. Before mag-November, mag-register na ako. Part ng constitution yun, na may karapatan din tayo kung sino yung dapat natin piliin. Alam mo, ang uh, karapatang bumoto, ang uh, una at uh, pinaka-basic political right ng isang uh, tao bilang citizen ng mansa. So, ito'y ginagarantiyahan ng ating saling matas. Kaya sa tingin ko ay dapat ito gamitin ng bawat Pilipino. Ito isang pribilehyo sapagkat hindi lahat ng Pilipino ay may ganitong karapatan na bumoto. Doon sa mga kwalipikado na, na bumoto, isa lang masasabi ko. Yung mga hindi nagparehistro at hindi bumoto, kailanman ay walang karapatan magreklamo na kasalanay sa bawat eleksyon na kinabukasan ng bansa. At kung hindi mo ito gagamitin, hindi ka naging bahagi at magiging bahagi kailanman ng kinabukasan mo. Seems like marami pa dito sa Assumption College ang hindi pa nakapag-register for the 2010 election. But now that they have extended the registration, sana lahat tayo makapag-register na. This has been Nelly Shu for the B2 News Report. Back to studio. The Assumption College Department presents this year's Top 10 Outstanding Students. Every year, Assumption College selects 10 outstanding students who possess the three pillars of the school. And these are excellence in academics, faith formation, and social transformation. Behind me are the 10 students who have shown compassion, intelligence, spirit, talent, and service to the Assumption community.
Aside from the three pillars of the school, this particular age and in, under these catastrophes that we're having right now, obviously the voice of hope has to be very physical in the sense of who is who is giving the most um, from that perspective. However, right now, under what's happening right now, we have to be very helpful in a very physical sense, food, clothing, etc., and with our pers our personal services. And well, it's a great privilege to be in it again for the second time. Um, the first time I was very shocked um, because you do things in school and just out of the ordinary and not really hoping to get peace recognition and also to be a role model for other assumptionists. To become a voice of hope is not an easy task, but eventually all the hard work will pay off. This is Ian Malik reporting for B2 News. Up next, an inside look in the Assumption Cafeteria. Personal experiences with Super Typhoon Ondoy and the contribution of the Assumption community and their relief efforts. And the different shades of Assumptionists? We'll be right back. For the B2 News. In Assumption, when you hear the word food, only one place comes to mind, the AC Cafeteria. Gutom ka ba? Tara, bisitahin natin ang cafeteria ng Assumption College kung saan makakatkin tayo ng mga lutong bahay at iba-ibang concessionaires. Meron din mga concessionaires gaya ng Pizza Hut, NY Fries and Dip, Pia Maria's, at saka Waffle Time. Metro Manila and Assumption lends a helping hand to the victims. 
Recently, our country was hit by the su super typhoon Ondoy. Thousands of Filipinos lost their homes, properties, and almost everything they worked hard for. After the devastating event, the Philippines tries to stand up on its feet again. Many are calling for help. Sa dugag namin, inhadid kami, pero umihay lang, umidid. Kaya naman, uh, sabi ko, kung uh, uh, ganito lang ang nangyari sa akin, mas less ako kaysa dun sa iba. Now, uh, nung Monday, nagkaroon na ng text brigade yung mga kaibigan natin sa Assumption. At uh, sabi nila, kung uh, kakayanin naman ako may panahon, okay, ay magpunta dito para tumulong sa relief operation ng Assumption College. And uh, lo and behold, pagdating ko dito, napakadaming tao. At uh, kita, kita mo yung uh, pagiging community ng Assumption, hindi lang dito. Pati yung mga kasama natin, yung mga kapitbahay dito sa San Lorenzo Village, ay naging aktibo ng Monday and Wednesday. Last Saturday, I went to... I don't know if this is part of the AC. Relief Center, but uh, this is a community in Maricaban Pasay, also a community of our school, the Little Sisters of Assumption, because uh, they conducted a medical mission for the typhoon victims. And I went there together with the students from 1J1 because they were there to assist the, the patients and, and the doctors. And uh, I got to interact well, as a professor, I think uh, I always believe that the spirit of volunteerism and being a productive member of the society must be a built-in mechanism in each of the students. It must not be imposed, but as a professor, I have to be a good model for our students and try to integrate it with, with, with the instruction and trying to make them realize that the spirit of volunteerism must not be during the, in times of calamities, but it must be a lifestyle. Saksi ang Metro Manila sa hagupit ng Bagyong Ondoy at hindi nahaligtas ang Assumption College. Sa paanong paraan ka naapekto na ng Bagyong Ondoy? Hindi ako nakauwi sa bahay namin dahil yung MRT station super puno at hindi gumagalaw yung pila doon. So, na-stranded ako dito sa San Lorenzo Village. Nakauwi ako pero late na dahil may open house. Nasundo na ako ng parents ko gabi na kasi na-stranded sila sa Magalang. Yung uh, relatives ko kasi, yung house nila, umabot yung flood hanggang second floor. So, ayun, na, na wash out yung things nila. Hanggang ngayon, 30 pa rin yung house nila, puro putik pa rin. Kaya asamin sila tumitara for now. Naniniwala ka ba may kinalaman ng tao sa pangyayari ng kalamidad na ito? Uh, yes, may kinalaman ng tao dahil uh, gawa ng mga illegal laging kaya nagkakaroon ng mga pagbaha sa ating bayan. Oo, oh, oh, dahil um, ang mga tao rin ay paminsan sarili lang iniisip. Hindi nila naiisip na dapat dapat makatulong tayo sa pagpapaganda ng ating kalikasan. Oo, oh, oh, sila rin may kasalanan kasi paminsan tayo din hindi natin naiisip na ano, kung nagkakala tayo. Nakakadagdag yun sa pagbabara ng mga kung ano-ano. Oo, oh, kasi kung di naman siguro dahil sa atin din sa mga basurad din natapo natin sa improper use natin ng mga resources, hindi naman din mangyayari. Sa so, tingin mo ba maayos ang pagkikilos ng gobyerno sa trahedyang ito? Maayos naman. Kaso nangyayari ay nagawa ng kalikas, kalikasan kasi yan. Kaya walang masasabi na uh, hindi natin pwede masisi ang gobyerno. Walang pinipili ang kalikasan. Mayaman, mahirap, naging biktima ng bagyong kontoy. Kahit ang mga tao sa komunidad ng Assumption College ay naapektuhan rin. Assumption College students come from different backgrounds, have different situations, and unknown to many are, of course, their different colors. This video is scripted and the students who participated serve as representations of the said research and credible sources. Sa Assumption College at sa mga all-girls school, hindi may iwas ang makakita ng mga ganito. Mga 
short hair, gusto gumalaw, boyish clothes. Mga lesbian, patomboy na ba? O mga komportable lang sila sa ginito? Actually, I'm not a butch. But, I'm attracted to them. Yeah, I'm very attracted to them since I was in grade school. Hindi ako tomboy. I'm just comfortable with these kinds of clothes. Ew, I hate lesbians. Blue, pink, white, purple. These are the colors that you see around campus. Is it ordinary in an all-girl environment? O talaga is yung mga ba ito? Because, I mean, it's normal seeing those kinds of girls in campus. I see it every day. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's something you can't avoid since we go to um, an exclusive all-girls school. Of course, it's always going to be there. Yeah. So, that's it. Um, That's our news for today. This has been Tammy Bote. And Tanya Manalang for B2 News. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a good day.